Welcome to The Threshold, the place of the intuitive, the mystic, the contemplative, a place to strengthen the connection to your core through mindfulness and inner wisdom. I don't know about you, but the world kind of feels frenetic, zinging from here to everywhere. So much uncertainty and angst that the empath in me is tugged all over the place. Are you like me? Do you feel like your emotions are paper thin? Do you feel a throbbing deep inside? See the emotions rip through the thin air? See the paper become soggy with emotion? Let's talk about how to move from the zinging to anchoring awareness and action. Now, if you're feeling unsettled, you're probably an empath. An empath overwhelmed is a person untethered. They go sailing down a rabbit hole until a voice shouts, enough, you're getting too twisted. Breathe into the moment, settle into your being. Because an empath sometimes just gets carried away with the emotions of another person if they don't know how to shield and anchor, if they're not aware of what's going on in their life. So once calmed, it's easier to decide what to do. The important thing is to recognize that there's always a choice. We can swim in the current of emotions until energy is depleted. We can sink to the bottom exhausted, or we can choose another way. And that's what I'm going to propose. There is another way. We can be in the flow, but not of it. We can feel the onslaught of emotions while not being so invested that the tsunami washes away our calm. So you might be thinking, gosh, that sounds almost impossible. How do I do it? We do it through anchoring, awareness, and action. Let's begin with anchoring. Awareness and conscious action are only possible when we are anchored in the moment. And that means that phrase, be here now. An easy way to anchor is to visualize that you are a tree with roots that are growing deeply into the earth and that your canopy of leaves is reaching, reaching high into the sky. Breathe into this connection of earth and sky. And with this connection, you consciously become part of the cycle of life. You are anchored in the moment, so it's, it's less it's less easy. It's not as easy to get pulled away. Now, an important part of anchoring is your shield. You encircle yourself with loving energy. Intend that it serves as an early warning system. Sometimes the shield for me is like this bubble. And it's almost like the Pillsbury Doughboy bubble, if you remember that, whenever you pushed in and then it came out. It's just a reminder. It lets you know when an emotion is incoming or outgoing. This is about recognition and release. When a high emotion like anger or grief enters your energy field, you can name it and release it with compassion. And that's about compassion for yourself or for another. So anchoring is all about building awareness. Be in the moment. Regularly check in with yourself. Ask how your body feels. What's going on in your mind? What emotions are percolating in you? Name it. Don't blame it. Be with how you are feeling and how it is impacting your internal and external life. Now aware, you discover how these feelings prevent you from being your best self. You learn about what triggers or fuels your reactions. And once you name what is happening inside of you, you focus on your breath for a few moments. Allow the rhythm of your breath to flow over you. Intentionally release the emotion. Feel the calm flow over you. And no matter how calm you feel, name it as a win. No matter, even if it's just a little unruffling, name it as a win. Because only when you begin to discover the calm can you really act. And action is the third part of this. Now we hold memories and emotions and stuff in our bodies and in our hearts. Over time, we get really good at ignoring what we are holding. We justify or we befriend the gunk that really upsets our equilibrium. We normalize the noise. 
When we act, we act to recognize what is disrupting us and name its impact. So we no longer normalize the gunk. We no longer normalize the gunk, the, the noise. We really notice what's happening and then act in ways that begin to reframe our lives, that begins to restructure. So for me, daily action is physical. I walk each morning and those moments really help me to clear any residual gunk or to be aware of the gunk if I just can't get rid of it. When I start work, I'm more relaxed and I'm better able to see, feel, hear, sense what, disrupt what disruptions are coming my way. And aware I'm better able to return to peace. I'm better act in ways that are peaceful. In the evening, I journalize, visualing, visual, what can I say, visualizing the day leaching from me and staining the paper as the ink flows from the pen. Um, and in this way, I gain perspective about what is happening in my life. And with perspective, I surrender into the moment, eventually letting go. I'm going to have to tell you these days are really topsy-turvy. No matter what way raves, waves crash into us, we are called to be in the moment, to show up as our best self, to share that self with the world. And this is made possible when we are aware, act from our heart, and anchor into the moment. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Additional resources are available at VanessaFHurst.com. Um, do you need some help? Uh, as a contemplative coach, I'd love to work with you using mindfulness techniques and intuitive practices to really strengthen your connection to your core, to begin to listen to how you are being called to live a more peaceful life. But whatever you do, I'd like you to spend time in this moment anchoring, being aware, and acting from your best self. Have a terrific day. Namaste. Bye.